Hey, oh my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. Today we have three amazing coaster blueprints to look at, so stay tuned and let's check them out. Welcome back everybody. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you end up enjoying the video, leave a like and uh, come join us on Discord. Get your creation seen and shared with the thousands of people in this wonderful community. Links are down in the description below. And if you guys would like to support the show and enjoy everything that I do here, please do check out my Patreon page. And if you do become a patron, you will get spotlight priority and your creations will be guaranteed to be featured every month. And with that said, these three creations today are from our patrons. Thank you guys so much for your support. Let's jump into the first patron creation of the day. Jester's Dance, created by Death by Suplex, one of our Discord builders and silver patrons. And here they say, Hi Johnny, this is a coaster I made when I first started playing Planko, but without theming and it was much rougher. I've been going back to old, really early coasters and refining them or re reimagining them for full theming. This is my first completed remake. Thank you for all that you do and have a wonderful day. Now about the coaster, a park wanted to invoke a popular comic book villain, but didn't have the funds to, or licensing, so it did its best to get it revamping an old coaster, the Dragon's Dance to the Jester's Dance. A F-25 launch coaster featuring a modified lagoon roll and a non-inverted loop, a corkscrew, and a banana roll. Enjoy the dance. You might get the last laugh. <laughs> Very cool. Let's take a closer look at this coaster, shall we? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Jester's Dance. As he mentioned, it's a launch uh, F-25, which is the drive tire launch coaster. Haven't seen a whole lot of those yet. It is one of the newer coasters added to the game. And here's a look at all the stats if you want to see them. Green across the board, anything that stands out here. And those launch tires are going to be pushing us at, at 50 miles per hour. Very cool. Let's close this down and give it a go. <laughs> Very fun. I'm really curious to know if the original coaster is on this workshop. I'm not seeing it here. So the original doesn't seem to be opened on the workshop. Would have been nice to do a direct comparison to like the, the, you said you revamped it and did the theming all complete. And the theming is very fun. I gotta say, I love this music. What is this song called? Uh, Cause it reminds me of SpongeBob SquarePants or something. <laughs> It's very fun. Let's see here. The crazy scientist. Gotta remember that. But burner burner. Burner burner. Haha. You might get the last laugh. Lots of purple and green. Very jester vibes. It's very strange seeing like green bricks and stuff, but I think it works here. Beautiful sign. It's kind of strange that the entrance is kind of to the side and <laughs> a little ha on the top. Um, but it, it, I guess it works. It's just in terms of like composition, it was really hard to get like a good screenshot of the coaster because here you don't even know it's a coaster. It just seems like a, like an indoor ride attraction or something, but the coaster's kind of like hidden behind this massive boarding station. So I, I don't know how you would go about doing that otherwise, because you, you do have the queue coming through the back end. It is just an interesting layout, because how does the coaster even get back in there? Oh, does it? That is really interesting. So yeah, you got this building, but what is the building used for? Is that the, supposed to be the exit? It is. Okay. And then the, and then the queue winds kind of down the rooftop area through this building and down through here. So interestingly enough, this is kind of like the front. Wait, or is it? Oh, there's a fast pass maybe? I don't I don't know what's going on here. No, that's not that's not nothing. Yeah, that's not even being used. The queue actually runs through here. Hmm, very curious. So you come 
in through here. Yeah, it, it is a crazy wild layout, isn't it? Between the uh, boarding station and the little city you got here. It's cool. I like it. I like the vibrance of it. It's a playful, fun coaster layout as well. Love the drive tire launch there. It's just, it's wild and zany. It's creative and different. Really good stuff here today. Death by Suplex. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below and let's check out the next creation of the day. Cursed Factory created by Loop G or L U P G. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, one of our Discord builders and silver patrons. Thank you so much for your support. And here they say, Hi, Channel 5 community. Hey, Johnny. This is one of my first workshop creations in Planko. A factory was built on an old abandoned graveyard, but this summoned an ancient demon. It's your turn to banish that banish this demon but don't get banished yourself wah 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 <laughs> all right very cool let's take a closer look at it shall we so here we go today we have a typhoon barghest ladies and gentlemen green across the board and here's a look at the rest of the results if you want to see them and let's give it a go Got a branch in the face right before we finished. <laughs> Just a little knock you out so you can go uh, an extra round. <laughs> So, Loop G, this name doesn't seem all too familiar to me. Let me see your workshop. You said this is one of your first creations, and I don't recognize the rest. So this is definitely, I think, the first time I featured you. So for a first time creation and only having four things on your workshop, I'd say this is very, very good quality work. Um, love the fact that the coaster's busting through the side here. Great uh, sign. The factory used uh, made out of pipes here. The coaster layout is fun. Love the lighting. It's very menacing. It does have that uh, cursed feel. I'm not a big fan of the neon glowing stuff, but because you put it over this toxic waste, it sort of makes sense. But uh, I don't know if that toxic waste is necessary because it's just a cursed place it's not like a waste facility is it unless i guess that's what they're doing here that's what the factory is all about but i think you could have done away with that if, if anything i would have probably preferred if this was lava or something just to add to that fiery nature because uh, I mean, if it is a factory, they might be pouring hot metal of sorts. So this could be some, you know, melted magma liquid, some hot metal or something. Uh, yeah, so for me, the green toxic stuff doesn't really fit. But that's just my personal preference. You got graveyards everywhere to match with the cursedness. Um, this, this is like big banking turn you did right across the wall. Curved nicely banking through there. It, it, it's, it's a really nice shape. It's almost creating like a bowl here. And then the coaster wraps all around it this tower it looks really cool i think the composition is uh superb like really good stuff the only thing for me is you're lacking a little bit of polish on this back factory here and let's see how many pieces you have yeah you still have a ton of pieces to work with another 2300 so if, in terms of your boarding station and back factory uh even this one honestly you could just it could just do some with some trim work some more pipes coming down maybe some gears on the side and just kind of have fun with it it's just it's lacking trim and decoration around the bottom uh just really push that those little factory pieces a lot further because what you have here is like a really great composition but the buildings are feeling left out and a little bit plain if you dress those up add a couple more uh, special effects some smoke coming out of the smokestacks there i think you got a, a really nice polished creation it's just uh, sometimes that last 10 percent is 90 percent of the work and i think you got that first 90 percent done really really well so just go in there and uh touch it up a little bit more and i think it's it's a very very solid coaster blueprint so really good job here today uh loop g 
and uh, a first submission from you really really nice so keep up the good work and i'm looking forward to seeing what you do next all right let's check out the next creation of the day marasaki created by decoy one of our discord advanced builders and silver patrons and here they say hey yo johnny this is an asian themed hybrid coaster named marasaki uh, which is a shortened version of the japanese word marasakino which means purple according to the google translate <laughs> I've, uh, I was given a challenge by my missus due to me having to hit an inspiration block. So I was given the theme Asian and was told that I had to color purple. Uh, this is the outcome. Hope you enjoy it and keep up the good work for the community. Much love. Well, thank you so much, Decoy. And that is very fun that your wife has inspired you and challenged you to create something cool. Let's see what became of that. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Marasaki. It is a uh, hybrid coaster. Here's a look at all the stats, almost green across the board. There's a look at everything else if you want to see it. And I love me a good RMC, so let's give this a whirl. Oh, <laughs> all right. It's a bit rough at times, isn't it? A little bit rough, but I, I love the way the blueprint looks and the way the coaster fits into this uh, temple. Now, I have to say there's a couple spots that really, really need some work. Uh, as we come down that first, where is it? The first drop brings us back up through here. It's ha I see that you had like, you're trying to fit the track into your blueprint. So I feel like maybe the blueprint was made first and the track was added in after, or maybe a bit of both and it was wiggled around. But as it's coming up through here, it's just it's having a hard time fitting and uh, getting through here is just a bit rough. Now, how would you go about fixing that? Well, I, I, I just say give that track a little bit more breathing room. I would have brought in the track, kept the track low and then brought it up. Either bring it up under underneath this track or a more of a vertical, yeah, more straight up and banking inward. You just got to really bend that in and then uh, just a little bit more banking coming through here it just needs a little bit more room so it's not so drastic and same with this one here i would bring it up and bank it in and this last part was very very rough i don't know what's going on there it looks like the whole track is falling apart i have never ever seen a wibbly wonky track so messed up that looks uh insanely rough i don't know what's going on with that and how you ended up with that let's uh let's just use our old smoothie buddy on this and see how it changes let's hit that smooth all can i get a different view on this or uh, look at the the steel bending back into place <laughs> that is so warped the game doesn't even know how to fix itself how did you manage this i almost feel like it needs to be done section by section nope that's just terrible oh that's a rough one there we go it's it's still over banking it though that's the problem yeah I, that's 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 hot, tough to fix however a little bit of smoothing it's still <laughs> it's still very crazy that I would actually just rework that whole section. It seems a little bit uh, rough. Now let's take a look at the nighttime lighting because I did see a lot of lights around. Yeah, that's looking very nice. Your whole purple theme is very apparent here. This building here doesn't feel very Asian inspired to me. It feels like a cabin that's just been decorated with uh, Asian lights. It feels very different. I would have continued running with the, the temple 
pieces, just like you have down here. Put that up top. That, that part stands out to me as a little bit strange. But everything else is very nice. I love this little zen garden you got going on here. It's it's super immersive. I think your theming is spot on, but the coaster just needs a little a little bit of polish. I think the track layout is fine. It just needs work in a lot of the areas. Uh, but the layout going through the whole scenery is a very, very nice. It just needs tweaking. But nighttime lighting looks beautiful. I, I love the uh, purple theme going on. Front boarding station looks really nice. The uh, sign very inviting it, it's quite a monumental creation and i think as a blueprint if you just look at it from a distance it looks very impressive so you've done a lot of things right here i just think that the coaster needs a little bit of love um and that's pretty much all i got to say about this one here today uh what did you guys think leave your comments down below as well as your comments for these other two amazing creators in today's episode. Uh, and once again, thank you guys for your support. All silver patrons here uh, really do appreciate it, you guys. Yeah, definitely amazing creations from the three of you guys. So keep up the good work. Look forward to seeing what you guys can do next. So keep on submitting your blueprints, keep on creating, and keep on having fun. And that's going to do it for me here today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily daily planet coaster videos and if you'd like to support the show once again check out my patreon page links are down in the description below and if you want to download these blueprints yourself there's also uh links to the creators creations down in the description as well all right everyone thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a great day and i will see you in the next video bye now